All right, again, this is not my usual way of drawing something, but I want to show you what to expect when you're moving the pen points around in different ways. So now I'm going to curve this shape. Oh, actually, I want to get this one right here, this path out some more. And there's kind of a tangle going on and some extra points that I don't need. So I'm untangling as if, you know, I didn't know what I was doing and I'm just trying to figure it out. If I go back to this tool and I click and drag on a point, okay, and I click and move points around, I get all these wrinkles, strange shapes that I might not like. So you can also try this. You can go to the pencil tool, let's see if this works. And if I click and drag in a curve more like where I think it should be, it'll redraw that. Yeehaw. So here, let's redraw this line. Oh, didn't get it. Let's try it again. I'm going to move this point down a little. You can see it looks like it's kind of tucked. And there's extra points here. That's not so great. So here I'm going to take the line, the pencil tool, and just kind of curve it up this way. And I want less space in here, so I'm going to pull this point over as if this is all wrinkled. And take the pencil tool again and draw it in, in how I want that curve to be. Didn't get it. From this point, let's say to that point, that's better. From this point to that point, nope. From this point to this point, nope. So I'm going to draw a curve again. Wah. Yeah, not so, not so much getting it there, so I did keep doing Command-Z to undo. Right, and here I think I'm going to play around with this and make it into a hand because it's just too tempting to not do it. This little part right here, let's crunch it down. And move this over. It's a lot of moving points. Another way you can avoid moving points, as I said, is the pencil which sometimes redraws your area and sometimes not. I'm probably not doing something right, so let's see if I can just select a couple of these points with the direct selection tool and the shift key and use the pencil tool on it. Can I redraw it that way? Nope. All right, so how about the smooth tool again? Smooth tool. Mm, it's a little better. Right, so I'm trying to get the points to be where I want to have it look more flame-like. This point should be out here somewhere. And this is where the eraser can also be very helpful. So I want this and the blob brush, the eraser and the blob brush. So this is the eraser tool. With the eraser, I can erase part of this form. Okay. And with the blob brush, shape builder, that is not what I want. I want the blob. There it is, under paintbrush, blob brush. I'm going to use the right bracket on my keyboard to increase the size of the brush. I'm using the right bracket, and here I'm painting. And that's actually filling in, it should be filling in this shape, and it did indeed. And here I kind of went over and got a little zealous there, a little overzealous. And I will get the smooth tool here and smooth this out. All right, so that's my basic beginning of drawing a flame. And now I'm going to turn this little shape into a hand. And I'll do that in the next movie.